Hello everyone, Chocolate Birds here for another video review. This time we have Milka Chips Ahoy. So, um, well, I think uh, basically from that, it does not very descriptive, <laughs> but you can see a cookie there um, and a kind of fluffy filling. So, I think from it you can say it's cookies and cream or some kind, something along those lines. So, um, yeah, very interesting. But um, I think there's some toffee involved because you can see there's like a toffee chip piece. So, we'll have a look in a minute on the back and see what it says. But, um, yes, there we go. Uh, but a nice uh, typical Milka wrapping. Um, I like this sort of the, the the purple as always, and of course the purple cow is always good. <laughs> uh, probably says 100% Alpine milk, I think. Yes, 100% Alpine milk chocolates. Yeah, um, and you can see here the sort of the Alps, or what I presume is meant to be the Alps there, um, in the background with a sort of sunrise of toffee, uh, which is always a good thing. Yeah, if only if only we had that in real life. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, that's nothing a good. Uh, I like the way it shows you just what's in there quite prominently. I think that's nice. Um, you know, it's, there's there's a lot of these chocolates with these sort of creamy centers, uh, fluffy, creamy centers at the moment. Um, and I'm not a hundred percent sure I like it, but um, I don't. You know, I can tolerate it, but um, we'll see if this one's any different. So um, you can see on the sides, it's got like a sort of bookshelf affair going on. So you could put them on your bookshelf, which is nice. I, I, I've noticed if the uh, Milka chocolates, if this bit of the Milka bar is different for every single one. Um not noticed that actually, uh, maybe it is, you know, like the Ritter Sport and the, um, well, I mean, the general main the Ritter Sport, I think there's another company that does it, but um, yeah, um, it has these sort of like the special sides um, to the chocolate, so you could sort of line them all up and you have like a library effect. Now, I'm not, yeah, maybe Milka do it as well, I'm not sure. Hmm. I'll look out for that. Yeah, Phasers do one, Phaser do like a, um, it's a special colour for each of their chocolates on the side. Um, yeah, so a bit like a sort of semicircle partition, and this colour would be specific to the bar. Um, okay, let's see what it says on the back then, shall we? Um, let's see. Alpine milk chocolate with biscuit flavour filling, 38%. With biscuit pieces, 12%. With chocolate. Don't say a percentage. So there we go. So yeah, so um, milk chocolate with biscuit flavour filling and biscuit pieces. So, um... All right, it's not it's not toffee actually. And having looked at it closer, it, yeah, it doesn't look like toffee. It does look like biscuit pieces. So, yeah, biscuit flavor filling and biscuit pieces. So it's biscuit flavor filling. Um, yeah, mm. with biscuit pieces. And I guess it's it's sort of like chocolate chips. So I assume there's little bits of chocolate. That's what the with chocolate means. I assume. Um, so it's quite nice. It's a nice looking bar. Hundred gram bar. Um, yeah, so half of this is probably equivalent. Well, but about 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 forty percent of this, forty grams, is what you would say is a, uh, which is two strips worth, four by two, um, something like that. Do you see what it says here? Actually, one portion, three segments is uh, twenty grams. I think it's trying to say, and there's five of those. So, so yeah, so I guess it's a five by three bar. I think so. It's like three segments. Hmm. Have to see what it's like when it's opened. Um, yeah, so I reckon it's probably six segments is what you would say is equivalent to a chocolate bar, really, uh, which is 40 grams. Um, yeah, so it does actually give you per 20 grams, which is good, actually. So uh, so per 100 grams, which is whole bar, it's 560 calories, uh, 35 grams of fat, 20 which are saturates, and then per 20 grams, which is good, which is uh, which is one of the one, which is one column here. So there's five columns, and uh, five by three, so... Uh, 20 grams is uh, 112 calories, 7 grams of fat, 4 of which are saturates. So really I would say 2 of them is your equivalent to a chocolate bar. So that's uh, 224 calories, uh, 14 grams of fat, 8 of which are saturates. So I think that's pretty spot on actually. I think 40 grams is generally, um, you know, a lot of these bars are 100 grams. So it makes it a bit difficult. Usually, you know, you just say 50 grams is your equivalent really because freeze really. Um, but I would say 40 grams is definitely the, the weightage for... Um, an equivalent for a chocolate bar. So um, typically, though, you only get you only get sort of what is it two and a half, two and a half of those in this. So it doesn't really work very well, <laughs> you know. But there you are, two and a half chocolate bars worth. Um, but yeah. Okay, so it's quite. It's got a bit of flourish on the side, but I think they're done in a way that I, I, I don't mind because um, so you can clearly see the width of the bar. They're very flat. These flourishes at the side. They do obviously do then give you a bit of a. You know, they do make it look bigger, you know, there's no denying it, but I think, um, and, but not, not only subtly so, and I, I don't think I can complain too much about that. Um, it's basically for the flow wrapper effect as well, where you can just open it down the side, so, which we'll do now. 
we go. It's nice. Before I forget, I will measure it. So I often forget, get carried away. Uh, so it's about uh, 15 and a half centimeters. Not bad. Um, and by seven and a half. That's not too bad. So and height wise, about 0 0.9, 0 0.9 centimeters. So there we go. Um, and at the top, it's, it's slightly thin at the top. I'll just do that quickly. Uh, about seven centimeters, seven point one wide. Um, we're too scientific, of course. Fifteen point two five. Well. Okay, so we go. So it's a bit. Um, I don't know. You can see it's a bit whited in there. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's because it's been left in the sun or something. Or I don't really know. But uh, on the back, it's quite. Flap some damage there. And that's just from. I don't think that's damage, damage. But that's just the way it is. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's a bit whited there. I'm not sure. Some chocolate you get is a bit like that. But it doesn't seem to matter to be honest with you. That I've noticed. But. Um, there you go. But yeah, so you can see it's a three by five bar. So six chunks is your uh, is your equivalent of a chocolate bar, I would say. Um, yes, but you can see you only get about two and a half chocolate bars in it, so it's a bit of a pain. <laughs> okay, so give it a snap. So there you can see. So it's um, very much a sort of fluffy sensor there. You can't really see all the you know the doesn't quite look uh, like that, does it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know. There's, there's obviously some sensor there, but it's not um, prominent like it was on the, the wrapper. I can snap it again. So yeah, um, you can see some sort of like dark bits, chocolatey bits, but I can't see any prominent biscuit bits. Those brown ones, unless I'm just being a bit unlucky. I think there are they are there, but they're very they're not too distinguishable from the uh, actual cookie uh, biscuit filling or whatever. And I quite like the way it says biscuit filling rather than cookie filling and stuff like that. That's quite nice. Um, Hmm. Okay, um, let's, uh, well, let's give it a go. Hmm. No, it's definitely... See, this is it, when it says biscuit filling, it means it's basically not Oreo. <laughs> and then if it was cookie filling, it'd be Oreo filling. Um, and I like that, I like that. Um, the only thing is milk could do do an Oreo... Um, an Oreo um, bar, um, and I guess that's the difference between this one and that one. Really. This is more of a biscuit flavour. It's more of a di crushed digestive sort of digestive chunky bit with a bit of chocolate. It's a regular cookie, really. I think you'd say in UK, you like one of those type cookies, really. Um, hmm. It's not too bad actually. The um, the biscuit filling is very. It is very creamy and a bit sickly, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure if it tastes of biscuit because you just get the biscuit taste from the crunchy biscuits. You do get a lot of crunch in there. Um, it's quite nice. It's almost like a hmm, got little chunks of biscuit in there, a digestive biscuit. Um, it's not too bad, but I think the cream, the cream is just a bit too. Uh, Sickly for me. Um, the chocolate's quite creamy in itself, and I think that's enough. Um, because being milk or chocolate, it's quite creamy. Um, you know, and I think that's probably enough of the, the sort of creamy taste. But then you've got this sort of biscuit cream, whatever it is, in the middle. Um, it's hard to say whether it's flavoured with biscuit. You can't really tell because of, of the biscuit crunch. There's quite a lot of biscuit crunch in there. You can't really taste any chocolate crunch. I think there are chocolate pieces, but. Hmm. Can't really taste those distinguished from the rest of it. Um, but yeah, it's just too a bit too um, a bit too sickly sweet for me. Um, I think a lot of these cream centers are though generally for me. They're just a bit too sickly, um, a bit too sweet. I just don't think it needs to be there really. Um, I'd rather it just be chocolate with biscuit pieces, biscuit chunks in. I don't think it needs this cream in there. Um, well, there you go. You can see the just before I forget, there's a big chunky bit of biscuit there. Looks quite distinct, quite distinctive there as biscuits. Um, so there is some chunks in there, <laughs> but you can tell it's quite a big one. But yeah, I think um, just to show you again, in case you missed it, there you go. There, that bit there. Just covering it now, and then reveal. There you go. Um, 
you know, it's a bit more easy to tell in person than perhaps on the camera. But um, yeah, for me, it's just a bit too sickly. The biscuit bits are actually quite nice. I like the way it is a proper biscuit, not just a Oreo flavored biscuit. Not that I'm against the Oreo flavor at all, but I just think it's nice to have normal biscuit. Um, and the chocolate's quite nice, quite creamy, as I say. But it's not very prominent because it's mainly, you get a lot of filling. But it's just a biscuit cream, whatever it is. I mean, that's what it's referred to, isn't it? Um, with biscuit flavor filling and with biscuit pieces. Yeah, it's just a bit too sickly. It's not the biscuit side, it's just the, the just, I don't know, it's just this cream concept. It's just a bit too sickly for me, so I'm not a big fan of it really. Um, I can eat one segment and that's fine, but I think any more, it's just a bit too much, you know. Um, it's not unpleasant, um, <clears throat> but I think a three out of five, I think, for me for this one. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe it should be less than three, but I wouldn't say it's, a not, it's not an unpleasant taste, it's just too sickly. Um, you know, maybe I should lower it, lower it from a three, really. Maybe a two and a half, I don't know. But um, it's not unpleasant, it's just sickly. And it's just too much. But all these fillings are a bit like that for me. Um, these ones are these cream fillings. All the the Cadbury's, milk, the Cadbury's Oreo bars and the milk Oreos and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they're just it's just a bit too much. I think the chocolate's creamy enough. I don't think you need that centre. Um, or to have it so have it so sweet and so sickly, I think it just needs to be refined a bit. I think um, the biscuit pieces are enough of the flavour. You don't need this kind of cream nonsense in there. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand the point of it. You just just have the chocolate with biscuit pieces in, um, or more biscuit pieces in, or chocolate pieces in. You know, or whatever something in there. Um, but it just doesn't need that sort of. Or just have it mashed with lots of crushed you know, digestive or biscuit or whatever, and just have it all filled with crushed biscuit, with chunks of biscuit in there, or chunks of chocolate in there. Um, that would be nice, you know. Um, but don't have this, but this cream thing, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, not for me. Um, as I say, I'm perhaps going off on one, really, but I've just had, you know, I've, I've, so many of the chocolates are doing it now, and uh, you just get a bit a bit sick of it now, in, 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 in more ways than one, you know. Um, yeah, so... Um, I don't know, maybe a lot of people like it, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But if you like those sort of creamy fillings, um, you know, I think uh, definitely this is, and you obviously want a bit of a biscuit taste, and this is obviously up your street, and of course you like milk and chocolate. <laughs> if you like what's in it, you'll like it, I think is what I'm trying to say. But um, I think for me, um, yeah, it's uh, it's just a bit too sickly, and I'm not, I, I think I, I don't need that, really. I think I, I, don't, I think it's, I think it could be, I think something could be achieved without this cream center, um, with, but with more, in, you know, with something a bit more interesting. As I say, if you just have, if you're just filled with crushed biscuit pieces, lots of the, you know, um, like you have at the bottom of a cheesecake, or with, with chunks of chocolate in or something, I think that would be a lot nicer than covered in chocolate. I think that would be really nice. Um, yeah, but and I think that would achieve a sort of chips ahoy or whatever, or biscuit chocolate or whatever, you know, a lot better than this. I think this is, uh, you know, this cream's not biscuit, is it? What's this cream got to do with biscuits? You know, nothing really. Um, so I just don't get it. It's, um, yeah, doesn't doesn't do it for me at all. So now if you had two and a half out of five, I've talked myself into it. Two and a half out of five um, for me, I think. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, like my videos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya.